Whew, I just literally carried all of these shoes to like my little filming spot and there is a pile like type of pile next to me so if I look uncomfortable or out of breath ignore it it's not happening sister like just pretend like everything's good Hi guys, it is Mad. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome to the trendiest place on the internet. If you are new to Mad Threads, make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button wherever it is. Become part of the Mad Threads family. It's a fun time. I promise you. Today's video is kind of like out of the blue. I've been watching a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, a lot on sneaker collections lately. And I thought, I have a lot of sneakers, let me do one too. Now, a little disclaimer before I get into this, my shoes are dirty. I wear my shoes. Like, I'm not one of those people who has sneakers that's like, oh my god, I like, can't wear them. There's one pair that I'm like a little protective over, which you guys will see. Other than that, my shoes are beat. They're worn. They are hella beat. Like nasty type of beat. With that, I don't have the most expensive over the top sneaker collection. If that's what you're looking for, girl, click elsewhere because this is not it. I'm gonna zoom through things like Converse and stuff like that. I don't really care. I don't really wear them that much. I'll go more in depth on my nicer shoes. A lot of my sneaker collection is thrifted. I have a few pairs that I've bought from stores or from stock x things like that that's it that's the intro let's just get started i feel like i'm rambling on so let's just get into this sneaker collection let's go i'm gonna start with like the weakest shoes and go to the strongest at the end if that makes any sense i'll probably start with like my vans because they're just like vans i'm not even showing you all of them because i really don't they're like my work shoes like i have the checker what are they called low skate low skate high skate low here's the thing i don't know what half of these sneakers are called so sorry about it checkered vans i wear these to work they say mad on the side i write on a lot of my vans because i don't really care about them so there's that i got those when i was 15 and i still have them and wear them to this day and same with these i have had these literally i think i got them for like my 14th birthday but they say like these shoes belong to mad threads my friends wrote on them yeah that's about it simple straightforward i feel like y'all own these already so i don't really need to talk about it for vans i also have like the slip-on whites and the slip-on all blacks but one is for work one is for school that's period not gonna talk anymore about it i have these blue converse these i actually thrifted pr probably six years ago this is one of my first ever thrifts ever it's literally just navy blue high top converse um i wear them sometimes they really have to go with a fit for me to wear these but yeah i have them they're cool i also have black high top converse you can tell that i like never wear these i also thrifted these for like five bucks they're literally brand new i have the all black high top converse which i really want to customize these like my boyfriend actually i'll show you guys these i have the all white converse and he just kind of drew some really cool stuff on here he like always customizes little things for me it's so great but he drew on these for me and they're amazing and so i want to do these ones with like white paint or something and then like wear them mismatched is that tacky or is that cool i don't really know yeah i have these and these for converse as well so that's all my converse next i have two pairs of air forces this is where i feel like i'm going to get dragged in the comments because my all whites are my beater shoes like i don't know why i just love the look of a really worn in creased nasty <laughs> air force i don't know what it is i thrifted these like brand new and this just happened i want to get a pair that i keep nice i know myself and i know that like white shoes are not my thing they're kind of embarrassing honestly um i'm gonna try to clean them mm, we'll see about that but all white air forces you get the vibe and then i also have these which are i don't really wear these that much these are just like this maroon kind of snake skin i think i also thrifted these a while back i like the shape of them for some reason it just looks different like the toe doesn't look as wide as this one maybe it's a different style i don't really know you can tell i am not educated these are a size for youth and i think the white ones that i have are a three and a half youth i have a really 
When I tell you I have really tiny feet, like these are a three and a half, these are a four, and these are big on me. I don't know what to do about it, but I can buy kids shoes, which is great because I can get them for like so, so, so much cheaper. Yeah, so I have these as well. I have two pairs of Air Maxes. One, this is going to be embarrassing. I got these at the Goodwill literally when I was in Chelsea in the city, the Goodwill in Chelsea. Got these for like five bucks. And I actually wear these a lot for work just because they're really comfortable. I work in a restaurant and I need either black or white or black and white shoes. So I wear these. There's literally dried up smoothie on the bottom. You already know how it is. <laughs> I actually want to try to clean these up because I genuinely love them. They're really comfy. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> But yeah, I really like these. They're comfy and honestly, Air Maxes, you can't go wrong if you're looking for comfort. So get them, get them girl. These I just attempted to clean as in like I put them in the washing machine, which it actually worked, but Jack is gonna help me clean them up a little bit more. I have had these shoes forever. I mean like, forever like the first time I went to New York City I was wearing these shoes that was years ago and they're so comfortable they're Air Maxes but they're like a they're a collab I'll put it on the screen like what they are these are literally one of my favorite shoes that I own like comfort wise these are it. If I know I'm gonna be walking a long time or I know I'm gonna be standing on my feet a long time or working a long time, I will wear these to work. I have gotten red smoothies splattered all over these and they actually don't look that bad other than like wear around the toes. So comfy, so great. I love these shoes. I want to repurchase them. I don't think that they make this collab anymore, obviously, because it's a collab, but I would repurchase just a plain Air Max. I love Air Maxes, so. So these are also one of my faves. I actually wear these a decent amount. These are the Nike Technos. Also, talk about comfort. This is like a dad shoe that went to a party, got her makeup done, put on a little cute outfit. That's what the Technos are. And I know like the plain white ones are literally sold out everywhere, but I got these maybe two years ago and I've been loving them. And then they blew up and I was like, yeah, they're really, really comfy. I just love the, the chunky look of them and I love how the back of the shoe kind of comes out. And I love this colorway because like I said before, when this goes with a fit, it goes with the fit. What are you waiting for? Go cop yourself some Technos. I'm gonna do another pair of like beaters, skater shoes. These are liter these are my skating shoes. I If I'm skating, I am skating in Stan Smith's. That's why these are so busted and just so nasty but they're just such a good skating shoe because they're so flat and they are comfy, but they fit so well to my foot that I don't wipe out. But yeah, just the white and green Stan Smith Adidas. I also thrifted these for like $3 and that's kind of why they just became my beater skater shoe. For some reason, the right foot is a lot more dirty and nasty than the left foot. Tell me why. I don't know. Next, I have three pairs of Fenty Pumas, and I really hope that number goes up a little bit. Literally, Rihanna's Puma collab was so fire. I still buy pieces from that collab on Depop, or like I'll see some of the pieces in Buffalo Exchange. Like, girl, you know I'm gonna cop it. I got a pair of Fenty Puma boots on Thread Up. So, girl, if you want Fenty Puma on the low, Depop, thread up, check them out. These are the first ones that I have. These are actually for sale on my Depop. I love these to death, but I just do not get enough use out of them to justify keeping them in my collection. These are my least worn shoes. I think since I got them, I've maybe worn them twice. They're super, super comfy. They're just the gray velvet creeper. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. I love that the aglet is silver. The only reason I know that's called an aglet is literally because the Phineas and Ferb song. I just love the velvet. I love everything about them. I just don't get enough use. If you want to buy these, check out my Depop. They're listed. I've also had these ones forever, literally since the collab came out. So I got these four years ago, maybe. These are like her most affordable shoe, I guess. Like you could probably get these on Depop for like 30 bucks. They're really comfy. Of course, I paid more for that when they came out, which sucks. I should have waited. I should have been patient. 
But yeah, it has this cute like Velcro thing that kind of covers the laces. They're just really comfy. Once again, like a really comfy shoe. I love the cream color. They also have a few other colors. They have an all black. They have like an army green. And then these are one of my babies. I do try to keep these in good shape because these are expensive. I have a size five and a half. They're actually slightly tight. These are the platform creepers. I think they're in like the lemonade shade. I just love the colorway. I love the tan gum sole. I love the suede. They're so cute. And just the detail that went into these shoes is everything. Okay, so these are the Naked Wolf track sneakers or trainers, whatever you like to call them. They're really chunky. I got these at the Goodwill and I could not believe it when I saw them. Such a good steal, such a good deal. They are so comfortable. They make me actually tall. Literally, I'm like 5'4 with these and usually I'm just plain five. Why wouldn't I wear them? I love these, comfy, cute. They can really, really make your outfit look chef's kiss. Last but not least, we are on to the Jordans. So the first pair of Jordans I'm gonna show you guys are the Jordan Jumpman Team 2s. I don't really love these and I don't really wear them. They're more of like a, when I play basketball, basketball shoes for me, cause your girl's a hoop star, okay? A hoop star, period. These are also the youth kid size. <laughs> they are a youth five. Don't love them, but they're comfy for basketball. Remember in the beginning how I said there was one pair of shoes that I actually take care of? It's these. They're just Jordan 1 lows and I barely have creases in them. You guys should be proud of me. I still keep the cardboard in them to keep the shape really well. I love these. They're comfy. They're beautiful. I have always said I just want one pair of shoes that I actually take care of and actually keep white. This is that pair. They're beautiful and I wear them non-stop even though it actually doesn't look like it. The next pair is a pair of Jordan 1s. They're literally a kid's three, y'all. I don't know how I managed this. These are actually mids. I know there's like, for some reason, there's controversy around like if people like mids or not. I think mids are worth it. I think they're cute. I think it doesn't hurt to have a few mids in your life. Regardless, these are just the pink and black ones. I don't really have much else to say other than the fact that we love the pink sole. I also keep these really nice as well. I've only worn these a few times, but they're really, really, really beautiful. So love them. The last pair that I have, I feel like I'm gonna get roasted for the condition that these are in. These are my matching Jordans that I have with my boyfriend. They are the Jordan 1 High OG Defiant. That's all it says. So we're gonna go with that. These are my children. They're my firstborn. There's just no one that makes me feel the way that these make me feel. So here we go. Here they are. These shoes are crazy. These ones came with four different pairs of laces. I have just one light gray and one black in right now, but they also came with a hot pink and a light pink. So these Jordans, they actually have this like layer of paint over them. And basically when you scuff it, the color underneath comes out. So eventually these are going to be pink and I'm so excited about it. So right now they're just like a soft gray. As you can see, like with where this part kind of turns hot pink, the swoosh turns hot pink as well. And then you could see like around the toe, it gets light pink. Same with like the back creases here. This is all turning light pink. It's crazy. As I wear these over time, they're just gonna become a whole new shoe, which is so crazy. They match with my boyfriend, that's so cool. And these ones are from StockX. All right guys, that is my entire sneaker collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I know you don't have like crazy like Balenciagas or off-whites, whatever. I am so happy with my sneaker collection and I definitely should probably downsize it a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm making. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram because we got the fit pics over there. We got the content, we got the fit pics. Check them out, girl. Follow me on Instagram. But that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>